What's going on YouTube? I am back. So we're here to talk about Australia going full tard. And not just woke tard, they've gone the full R word, can't even say it on YouTube anymore. So we've got some interesting topics just about Australia in this video to talk about. So we've got some woke ones and some completely random nonsense. We've got kangaroos gone for a big jump, dumbass tourist attraction operators. We've got people trying to ban high fives. That's how pathetic it's got down here. We've got the cost of living crisis, a couple of examples there. But as I always say, first up, hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button as well. You know why? Because I'm struggling here. About as much as the vegan was on the day these legends here smoked them out with some of those meat products there being barbecued to fuck. It looks good as hell. I want to eat some of that shit. But let's start off with some wildlife. We've got a kangaroo here going for a jump over this fence. Check this out. What the hell's going on there? What the hell did this thing think it was? <laughs> this one's about putting a tourist attraction in the worst possible place. Check this out. Do you know what I love about Australia? We don't give a fuck. So many things we don't give a fuck about. We probably should give a fuck about. For instance, right here, you can see some families, you know, setting off supping, canoeing. They're gonna go on a nice little canoeing tour up the river this lovely river and that's a crocodile trap right there for catching big old fat fucking salty crocodiles oh look at the children yummy juicy children and croc trap that's the, look that's the way it is over here in australia if you can't go to a tourist attraction and get your children eaten there's no point going, right? That's the only reason you want to go. Some of that uh, dingo ate my baby action from way back in the day. Some of that Chamberlain action. You know what I'm talking about. And while I've got your attention, I want to quickly talk about this topic here. Just to give you an idea of how woke Australia has become. Here we have uh, this random dude here who's a lollipop man in Melbourne. That's one of the people that helps the kids cross the street. All he's doing is trying to keep kids safe on the roads. And guess what this guy has been banned from doing. Check this out. A popular lollipop man near Melbourne has been banned from high-fiving students after a parent complained to a local council, putting an end to a four-year-long tradition, and not everyone is happy about it. Save the high fives! <laughs> really sad and upsetting. Did you get a high-five this afternoon? Nah, I can't. It really brightens our day. An online petition to keep the high five alive has already received 120 signatures. That's how pathetic we've become in Australia. People getting upset about a bloody high five. God, it's pathetic. What's up, Skip? Hey, fuck off! Uh, fuck off! Go away! Ah, fucking kangaroos. My father still messes up my pronouns all the time and not maliciously or for lack of trying. And I too occasionally misgender myself. Now <laughs> I'm here in Kmart and have a look at this. What in the fucking woke world is going on here? Two dads family doll kit. And there's a spot for the two mums kit. Where's the trans kit? That's shit. I'm gonna make a complaint. Problem, just move it, please. What's my problem? You, have, you, had to, you couldn't even get out of your car. Why would you park there? Well, why would you park like that? It's, uh, because someone else was parked uh, bad yeah. before, yeah. So, really? Yes, really. So, so that gap, so that gap right there yeah. is because someone else was parked bad yeah, before? Yes. Come on. What does it matter? Just move it. It does car. matter. Oh, I Get you can oh. get in from the passenger seat. No, I can't. You're. I'm an old woman. Just get out. Yeah, all right, but please next time park no. properly. Oh, just go park somewhere else. You're just being arrogant. I'm being arrogant. You're taking up two parking spaces. I'm, I'm being arrogant. Taking... Come on. There's five million car spaces. As you know, like Australia isn't a British country. You know the Aboriginals and stuff. You know they were the first people here. So either way, everyone in Australia doesn't belong here. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. You know, we've all come here and we've 
we've become Australian after the fact. No one's Australian except for the Aboriginals. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Anyway, guys and girls, I didn't want to seem Islamophobic or anything, but I come around the corner at the old Pentridge site, and I saw these three up here, and I said, Good day, morning, ladies, because I thought it was the Muslim women just standing on the fucking tables, but apparently it's not. They got very offended. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Fuck off. You see that right there? Grapes. 16. We just paid $16 for a whole bag of grapes. I'm dying. Like, what the fuck? Does anyone else in Australia think that Coca-Cola is ridiculously expensive? I've seen, I've seen beer cheaper than Coke now. 20 bucks. Five dollars per litre. I know people are like, buy the bottles, it's cheaper, but... To find the bottles. Who wants bottles? I don't even want to go look for the bottles. What about these little six packs? Three eighty-five per liter. Five dollars per liter. How's that? Per liter, fuel is cheaper than Coca-Cola. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day as always, and as always, so get the peons the hell out of my stinking house.